Welcome to Paris. <laughs> yeah. Can you see the Eiffel Tower? That's amazing. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So, very nice to see you, Didi. So, I'm here with Didi Taihu to the Bitcoin family. Yeah. And, uh, and the, uh, uh, we're very proud at Give Nation to have had Didi since the very beginning. And I'm very happy and grateful today to be able to meet him in person first and second uh, to be able to, to share together. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for asking me. Thank you for having me over. Thank you for this beautiful breakfast this morning in the, in the Astoria, was it? Yeah, yeah we had a good chat. In, in Las Vegas. Vegas. In Las Vegas. Yeah, we are in Vegas at the moment for the World CryptoCon. And finally we meet. We have been talking so many times, so many times on Skype and all the things. And yeah, it's different when you can look each other in the eyes and uh, really talk yeah. with a person to person. Yes. Or peer to peer. Yeah, <laughs> you well. call it in crypto. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, so, what, so our topic is about giving. Yeah. And uh, that's where we connected. And so what would you say was the reason why you joined uh, Give Nation? We are... We need to show our kids that life is not about accumulating wealth. Mm -mm. It's about giving. Mm -mm. It's about helping. It's about helping others. Um, and of course, some people need to have the normal life, but we want to focus on how can we help others in, this, in the world, and you can live by doing as well. Mm -mm. You don't need to have a normal nine to five job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we did. And then Bitcoin flew up. So the house was sold and everything. Bitcoin went up. Uh, so there was enough money, let's say enough bitcoins, let's say like this. And then we were on the beach in Thailand and we looked at each other and said, what did change? And she was like, no, nothing really. We have a shitload of bitcoins and, and dollar euro value, but it doesn't change anything. We just still eat in the cheap local restaurants in Thailand. Mm. So then we agreed on, so why don't we start sharing this? Mm. So we start giving, mm -hmm. giving part of our capital away to, mm. um, to charities and everything. Mm, mm. But after doing that for a year, we also saw we are not helping them. We are just helping them short term. Yes. I'm, I'm just helping them like really short term. And then I saw, I saw a lot of documentaries and then, you know, I saw that we needed to stop teaching them and to um, stop teaching them to give fish, but teaching them how, how to, to fish. fish indeed. And all that kind of stuff made my mindset. And that's how we came to uh, creating a new style of, of Bitcoin family that that was all about sharing and scaring. Mm. And that's how I felt connection to give because you know, the thing you're doing, educating the kids on a young age that there is more life than just taking, there is also a part of giving. Yes. This is exactly what we and the family are doing. Mm -hmm. So that was the first step that I, my, my heart started pounding and I'm like, okay, this is exactly the puzzles are falling into place on the right yeah, time yeah, in, yeah. In, in my life. And now we are doing a sharing and scaring tour, as yeah. you know. and. Um, yeah, so give is a perfect combination for us at the moment to educate uh, kids about what is important in life and how they can share. And and you said something very interesting about you know the the use of crypto in in countries like Indonesia or Thailand etc. Yeah. where there is a, a a core need of that because there is nothing else, uh, no alternative, <coughs> right? And yeah more so important in these cases. Can you talk a little bit more about so that? If, you, if, if we travel to Indonesia, for example, and my roots are on the Moluccan Islands. The Moluccan Islands is an archipelago of islands near Indo Indonesia. It's about 4,000 islands. I think 98% of the people on those islands don't have a bank account. So a few months ago, I was having a chat with my daughter, the oldest one, Jolie, and I told her, so if you want to give five euros to your nephew in Indonesia now, how would you do this? Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, I, I, she still had a bank account because the grandparents are giving them some savings for their, on their bank account. And the kids below 18 are not allowed to have a crypto bank account yet. It's mm -hmm. a huge part. We need to change in blockchain, but slowly. Um, and she was like, yeah, with my bank. So I said, okay, try it. So she started to chat, you know, with Facebook, with my nephew. Or, okay, I want to send you some five euros to buy some top of your mobile, whatever you want. And, and he was like, <laughs> Julie, we don't have a bank account. I'm living on an island. My father is a fisherman. My mother does the washing. <laughs> there is no bank here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how, how can I send you money then? Yeah, you can use Western Union. <laughs> so my daughter went, 
checking the rates from Western Union. She's like, damn, I think five euro. It costs more to, to send yeah, it, to send it th yeah. than he will receive. This is not the way. She said, finally, Julie, you understand the need of cryptocurrency. Mm. So I told her again, this is your Bitcoin wallet. Um, there's this new uh, project, it's called live.im. There's a wallet in, integrated in Facebook Messenger and Telegram. I, I told her, here, send this link to your nephew. And like in an hour time, this nephew had a Bitcoin wallet. He could send five euros without fees in six seconds to the other, th other side of the world. He can use it over there, exchange it to Indonesian rupiah. And that was exactly the moment she understood, wow, mm -hmm. this is why Bitcoin is needed. Mm -hmm. and people don't realize because we grew up in luxury. We all have our credit cards, debit cards. You know, we, we have all this. But in those parts of the world, they don't have it. They have been used to using cash. For them, the step to digital cash, cash is way more easier than for us. Mm -hmm. We are addicted to this making debt system. Those kids are, you know, they are used to, to spend cash with each other, and now they can just mm -hmm. spend digital cash. The, the step is very small for them. So that is why I think it, it's growing over there. In China, everybody is paying with WeChat. It's, mm. it's, it's the WhatsApp mm. or yeah, 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 yeah. You can pay at the market, you know, everywhere. Well, thank you so much, Didi, for your time. You're welcome. And I'm looking forward to uh, bringing more and more kids to the platform together. Same here. Awesome. Let, let's agree on that. Let me do this. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You're welcome.